This is going to be painful for some people out there, probably not for you listening, but this is going to be painful for some people listening. They're going to struggle to come to terms with this. Joe Biden was caught on a hot mic the other day in Florida saying nobody Fs with the Bidens. The problem is that's what OPEC is doing. OPEC is driving up the price of a barrel of oil. OPEC is cutting out its oil production by 2 million barrels a day. The price of a barrel of oil is now over $92. Yesterday, when I closed out my program, it was at $87. The day before, it was at $85. Uh, Brent crude is now at $98. It is up 3.88%. West Texas crude up 4.53%. It is headed back to $100 a barrel. Joe Biden has decimated American energy production. He has made it possible for OPEC to put us over the proverbial barrel. Fox News is now reporting the Biden administration is nearing a decision on the future of federal offshore fossil fuel drilling and has not ruled out a complete block on new leases. The Biden administration, according to the Wall Street Journal, has issued fewer new leases for drilling on federal land than any administration since World War II. Joe Biden has enabled OPEC to fundamentally alter the economic landscape of the United States. Russia is on the verge of a nuclear attack in Ukraine, if reports are to be believed. Its major nuclear submarine has left port in the Baltic. Rail cars with nuclear missile launchers have headed towards Ukraine. This is the first time since the 1960s the Russians have openly threatened a nuclear attack on anyone. And it must be pointed out, none of this happened when Donald Trump was president. For four years, Democrats told us Donald Trump was going to destabilize the world. The world was going to go to hell in a handbasket. The reality is that's what Joe Biden has done, whether they want to believe it or not. Joe Biden has brought the world to the brink of nuclear war and economic calamity, not Donald Trump. Joe Biden is the one who was so predictable, so naive, and so out to lunch on foreign policy that Vladimir Putin could play him like a fiddle to the brink of Armageddon. Joe Biden is the one who was so predictable, so out to lunch, and so held hostage to the left-wing cult of environmentalists that OPEC knows they can get him over a barrel and drive up gas prices, and all the Democrats can do is scream that they're trying to help MAGA Republicans with this. All of this was foreseeable. Joe Biden is playing checkers, and the rest of the world has learned chess. Joe Biden is getting his clock cleaned with foreign policy, and the Democrats promised us it was Donald Trump who was in over his head on foreign policy. None of this happened when Donald Trump was president of the United States. You may not like him. You may think he had poor character. You may think he wasn't fit to serve as president, but nobody was talking about nuclear war in reality when Donald Trump was president. Nobody cared what OPEC was doing when Donald Trump was president. The Russians didn't invade Ukraine when Donald Trump was president because they knew Donald Trump was too unpredictable for them to figure out what the hell he might do. So they didn't do it. OPEC never bothered with Donald Trump when he was president because Donald Trump unleashed the floodgates of American energy from Alaska to Texas, across the nation. We were drilling our own oil. We were mass exporting our oil. We were energy independent, and now we're held hostage to a bunch of Muslim dictators in the Middle East who know they can have their way with us because Joe Biden has closed up shop, shut down the oil industry, threatened to bully them out of business, curtailed leases, and now we have nothing unless you're rich enough to buy a battery-powered car and, in the words of the energy secretary, run on sunshine. None of this happened when Donald Trump was president, and you know it's true, and you may hate that it's true, but it absolutely is gospel truth. None of this happened when he was president. Joe Biden and the left's chickens are coming home to roost, to quote their friend Jeremiah Wright. Joe Biden has been wrong about everything in foreign policy for 50 years. Don't ask me. Ask Bob Gates, 
Barack Obama's defense secretary. Joe Biden's wrong about everything and has been for 50 years. The man does not understand foreign policy and is too dumb to realize it. He thinks he's a genius when he's not. Joe Biden withdrew us from Afghanistan when everyone around him said, do not do this in fighting season. If you want to do it, because Donald Trump wanted to do it, wait until the winter season like Donald Trump wanted to do. And Joe Biden decided to do the exact opposite of Donald Trump because he has such disdain for Donald Trump and the Republicans. He thought he could do better, and it cost the life of 13 Americans, and there are still Americans trapped in Afghanistan. On store shelves across the United States today, there is still a baby formula shortage and you have no major media outlet wants to report on it because they're afraid of hurting the Democrats. There is still a baby formula shortage and Joe Biden promised it would get fixed. It is not fixed. I hear from parents every day. They're still struggling to find baby formula. And then there's OPEC. Oil prices are going back up, which means gas prices will go back up. And the best the Democrats can do is blame the Republicans and the Saudis and claim they're complicit together to help MAGA Republicans along with Russia. They're back to their Russian conspiracy, throwing the election, and they cannot admit, and the media will not point out that what's actually going on here is that Joe Biden caused the problem. Joe Biden broke the economy. Joe Biden enabled and emboldened Vladimir Putin. Joe Biden has brought the world to the brink of nuclear Armageddon because Joe Biden is a weak president a weak leader and has stupid foreign policy and listens to a bunch of nonprofit academics who've never had to get a job in the real world and they have led this country and the entire world to the brink of a nuclear war where Joe Biden last night to Democratic donors said this is the closest we've ever been to nuclear Armageddon since the Cuban Missile Crisis, a situation that did not exist when Donald Trump was president. When you hold your babies close to you tonight and worry, will there be a nuclear war? You need to understand this didn't happen under Donald Trump. When you go to the pump tomorrow and you see gas prices have gone up because OPEC decided to cut production, you need to understand this didn't happen under Donald Trump. This is not in praise of Donald Trump because any Republican president would be in the same boat. Because Republican presidents understand if we give up our energy independence, we become held hostage to people who do not share our values and have our interests. Any Republican president would have avoided walking into this trap. Joe Biden walked in willfully, and now his administration is attempting to use a crisis they created to not let it go to waste and force you to go buy a battery-powered car that you can't buy. Across Florida, the battery-powered cars are igniting spontaneously because the salt from the storm and the hurricane has corroded the batteries, and they're catching fire. And firefighters who would preserve to be rescuing people and finding the bodies of the dead are having to put out the fires of the battery powered cars that have been abandoned because of the storm and can't be refueled with gas and now have no power to charge them. That's the vision of Joe Biden's future. We're on the brink of nuclear Armageddon for the first time since the 1960s because Joe Biden is president, because Joe Biden is implementing foreign policy that he said would be better. The Russians were more than willing to run to Ukraine and now more than willing to send in nuclear weapons and more than willing to challenge Joe Biden for primacy on the world stage because Joe Biden is a weak know-nothing who claims to know everything and lacks any bit of humility to understand he has screwed it up. Joe Biden is so clueless, he says, nobody Fs with the Bidens, and the whole world is. And the problem for you and me is that we're left to the fallout. We're left to the catastrophe. We're left to the damage. We're left to the debris. The Democrats Want you to go buy your battery-powered car? You can't afford to buy a battery-powered car because have you seen which grocery bill is? You're still paying on your gas-powered car, and what they've decided to do is drive up the cost of gas so much that you're going to go broke. 
And the way they're going to bail you out is to give you some sort of government subsidy to buy your battery-powered car that you can't drive because the power is out in California. The electric grid is unstable. They've made it vulnerable to hackers from abroad. And we're on the verge, if a nuclear weapon explodes in Ukraine, of an absolute economic meltdown around the world. At a time the Fed is having to raise interest rates to slow down inflation that is gutting you, gutting your family, carving out your pocketbook, making mincemeat of it, the Biden administration has no solution other than spend more, which will do nothing but exacerbate inflation, exacerbate interest rates, raise the amount of money that must be paid just to level off the national debt and make the service payments on the debt, which means less money for the social welfare net, less money for government spending, less money for anything other than covering the national debt, including less money to build up our military at a time we need it built up. Joe Biden has restricted the amount of oil flowing from the United States. Joe Biden caused this hostage situation. We are hostage to Middle Eastern dictators and the Russians who wish to raise prices around the world to benefit Russia in its war with Ukraine At a time, Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, Jennifer Granholm, the Democratic Party at large has told you you're not allowed to get any more oil out of the ground that you yourself own, you yourself could have access to. It is Joe Biden, not Donald Trump, who has promoted the tyrants over the Texans, the autocrats over the Alaskans, and the dictators over the Dakotans. It is Joe Biden who has emboldened Vladimir Putin to move nuclear weapons towards Ukraine, not Donald Trump. It is under Joe Biden that Vladimir Putin knew he could go invade Ukraine because Joe Biden was a predictable fool as opposed to an irascible, unpredictable madman like Donald Trump. You may not like Donald Trump. You may think Donald Trump is a terrible person. You may hate Donald Trump's character. But according to Joe Biden, the world for the first time since the 1960s is on the verge of nuclear Armageddon at a time OPEC has us over a barrel and oil prices are going back up to $100 a barrel. And all of that is on Joe Biden. He did that, not Donald Trump. Maybe you should consider Joe Biden is not the return to normalcy so many of you thought he was.